Hey, John. What? How have you managed to be married to me for so long and not cheat? You think there's just b out here that's like, hey, free p you think that's what happens? Uh, it's a serious question. Do you think that's how it is in these streets? I'd have to put work in. I don't want to do things with you. I'm obligated to do them with you sometimes. John! Not big things. I like doing some stuff, but I'm saying, like, want to go sit in this line for this restaurant with a side? <laughs> I put in all my effort here, and so I don't got extra effort out there. When do I have time to cheat? I be working, I come home, you're here. I don't want to hear your shit stories sometimes. I love you, I listen and I'll engage. I made a commitment. I think I want to hear another <laughs> oh, God, could you imagine? <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, figure out whether or not she liked what she heard, bro. Is that good? Is that bad, dog? <laughs> He's like, I don't feel like she, bro. It's enough dealing with Joe ass. Why would I want to deal with another bitch? I don't know if, is he happy in that relationship, though? God damn. But like real talk, man, cheating is definitely a young man's sport. Or a motherfucker got the energy to do so, bro. To be out here hunting, trying to knock shit down, pursue shit. When you got a whole marriage <laughs> relationship with kids at the crib, dog. Woof. Woof. Yeah. But it's a whole different ball game if you're one of those men out here that are, like, just naturally attract women. All right. Right, that's why it will who are y'all who do attract women that want to be faithful to not even put yourselves in positions where, you know, shit can go down. You know what I'm talking about? Avoid the clubs, avoid the bars, avoid the single hoes, bruh. Them bitches get you, especially when you tie down, bruh. I'm telling you, bruh, when you... I have, I have yet to do it, dog, since I've got my girl got me this ring, but I've, I have done this test. With a with a which is which we just had a ring on the goddamn finger, dog. Like, this shit attracts bitches. Fuck wrong with y'all. <laughs> the comments, the comments, the comments is perfect, bro. John is fed up and happy at the same time. I'm saying I'm still trying to I'm still I'm still trying to decide whether or not that was good or what he said, bro. But at the end of the day, he ain't sticking a dick nowhere else, bro. Cause he ain't trying to deal with no other bitch shit, dog. <laughs> Cuss said, "Bitch, I barely want to go out with you. Why the fuck I want to go out with anybody else, bitch?" <laughs> hey, bro. All right, hey, I feel that though. I feel that. I ain't. I ain't, I'm not nearly as uh fed up as he is, bro. But nah, I ain't got. I got the. I really got the energy to deal with one of these motherfuckers at home. You think I want to deal with two of them? Nah, fam. Y'all can have that. Why does the friend zone exist? For losers who are meant to be there. Would you say he's in the friend zone? Yes, I do have a boyfriend. Are you guys in a relationship? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, we're you say talking. yeah. You we're say talking. no. We are. We are not in a relationship. No. Okay, I guess we're not. <laughs> <laughs> bro, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Hey, and no homo though, bro. But like, cause she, I, she not in your league, fam. Exactly. Somebody gotta help For this losers guy. Who are oh, look at this, look at this frumpy looking motherfucking bad skin having heifer. Got the nerve to tell this motherfucker that he the friend zone's only for losers. So you basically you are clearly calling your man a loser that you with. Meant to be there, bitch. That's why that's why channels like this exist. Dog. That's why the fuck I do. Cause it's tall. He got the fucking Superman jawline and shit, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's a bunch of goddamn heifers out here who tear his ass up, bro. And you sitting wasting time with this fucking oompa looking look at it. Next. Number one, I do not cook for my husband. I only cook for my children. My husband will be making his own breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Number two, I do not help him pay any bills. So if he is short on the rent, on utilities or anything like that, it is not my problem. I will not be helping him out. His job is to provide for his family. So I am not financially contributing to any of the bills. Number three, I do not do his laundry. I have my own laundry and my children's laundry to do. So he could do his own. I won't help him put it away. I won't help him fold anything. Like That's his responsibility. 
Number four, he is responsible for replacing any of his essentials like soap, shampoo, anything like that. He needs to go buy it himself. Even if I'm at the store, I will not be replacing it for him. If he needs new underwear, new socks or anything like that, that's for him to do. I'm not going to do it for him. I'm not going to enable. This got to be cap. This got to be just for views, dog. Ain't no, ain't no fucking way, bro. Ain't no fucking way, dog. I'm, I, I literally want to know if this shit is real, dog. <laughs> Facts. The comments say, I hope he cheating on you right now, bro. I, I hope that too. If, if, shit, if this shit is real, dog. But I don't think it's real, bro. There's no fucking way that there's somebody out here is simping out hard where this bitch feels comfortable enough to say this bullshit about her man online. You just calling man's a bitch which means he's okay with being a bitch, which means this has nothing to do with this bitch. This has all to do with the fucking man that allowed this bitch to come out here having that goddamn energy, bro. And you put babies in this hoe? You put babies in this liability? You put babies in this ungrateful ass heifer who don't even, I mean, don't know bitch look good enough to have these type of expectations on any goddamn body, but it'd be more understandable if the bitch was a goddamn 10 with her head up in goddamn the clouds somewhere, dog. But, this girl look like she work at motherfucking Walmart. I say it's never the women's fault. It's always the men's fault because men allow women to do what the fuck women do. But that's tough. Um, four things. Four things. Let me see if I can find her on TikTok. I think it's Cap. I think it's Cap, dog. Four things I will not do as a... What was it? As a male. As a married woman here she go is this her yeah okay see there we go i knew it bro i'm like y'all ain't there's no fucking way dog mostly satire and sarcasm they see me trolling they hating bro she out here on some bullshit okay 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 no rules i needed bro that's a good one dog you had me serious face and everything i want y'all look at this shit though um my husband is making us fly home from our honeymoon after one day because he found out i sent my ex a simple goodbye text on the morning of our wedding. It was a goodbye text, for goodness sake. Not an I will always love you text. Not a drop everything and meet me at the altar text. I needed to say goodbye to have closure on the unmarried part of my life. Please tell me my sensitive, nostalgic girlies understand. Because it's not a, it's not a, it's not a motherfucker with balls out here that's gonna understand any of that bullshit coming out your mouth. But I am curious to see if she has any girl sympathizers. Like even with the worst case scenario, even with the worst cases of feminism and whole life and entitlement, bro, I'd imagine that most of y'all women out here will, will recognize the fact that this bitch is tripping. You gonna text your ex <laughs> goodbye or your? See, this got to be capped too. I don't, I don't be believing none of this shit. I do not be believing none of this shit, dog. What woman in her right mind would would, would do that? <laughs> you gonna send, you gonna send a text to your ex on the, your on your wedding morning, the day, the morning of your wedding, bitch? Yeah, bro. Hey, hey. If that sure remind me of uh, Steven Jackson ass telling that goddamn wedding story. When he's getting married, the girl went inside the prenup. <laughs> That's the most classic story ever, dog. Hey, bruh, I hope, I hope, I hope this is real. And yo, and yo, best man got in the DJ booth and got them. Well, nah, that wouldn't fit. That wouldn't fit. That wouldn't fit. It'd have to be a different song. It'd be a different song. Uh, oh, oh, you's a hoe. Because of that Steven Jackson story, remember? I'm going to have to show y'all a little snippet. The Steven Jackson story, Steven Jackson, you know what I'm saying, ex-NBA player, had already made his money and then got in a relationship with a woman and was going to get married, you know what I'm saying? But he wanted the bitch to sign a prenup, but she kept putting the prenup off, you know what I'm saying? It'd been, it was months and then weeks and then days before it was the day of the wedding. And then he finally got he finally got hired to sign a fucking prenup, but she was crying under distress, he said, he said, bitch, I, he said, I may have been born that night, but I wasn't born last night, dog. I know if a motherfucker signed a goddamn contract in distress, it is null and void, and that shit don't work. Wedding is off. And then his homeboy, who was, who was his best friend? I can't remember. Was it Steve Francis? Uh, I don't fucking know, dog. But it was one of his, his best men, one of his groomsmen, got in the DJ booth after they called a wedding off, and that motherfucker played in the DJ booth. All right, I'll go talk to him. So look. I get in the room, she's still in her wedding dress, and she crying and shit, right? So soon as I walk in the room, she hard down crying. 
I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Da 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 da. I'll sign it. I'm, I'm, whatever, whatever. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Listen, I was born at night, but not last night. One thing I know: anytime somebody signs anything where they crying under any type of stress or any real emotional or something like that, that shit can get thrown out. I was already told that by my folks before I even signed this prenup. I was already on game. So the shit she tried to, to, to get me in that room and see her tears and think I was going to buckle and just and, and she could sign it while she crying and all that, then come back and when they, when they, when they try to stand up, she's going to be like, I was emotional at the time, da da, and they, I, they, it's, it's been thrown out. It's happened to men before. Nah, sweetheart, you chose the decision you wanted to make, and that's you didn't want to sign it. We on it's fucking over with. That happens. Remember, I told you Steph was turned up. I'm talking about dog. This nigga Steph, my mom, Barry, is crazy, dog. Soon as we get to downstairs, he already in the DJ booth. Dog, this shit is hilarious. He in the DJ booth as people walk in. Guess what's the first song they played? Soon as we walk in, Roy D, the first song this nigga played, she gives me money when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling friend in need. Oh, yeah, she's a gold digger. Way over time, that's good to me. Ah, oh, dog. She gives me money when I'm in need. Oh, she's a trifling. Friend indeed. Fire. One of the best stories you will ever hear in life, dog. Yeah, but get this. If this is real, good on you, dog, for taking your blind ass back to where the fuck she came from, bitch. Honeymoon is over, ho. Go find that motherfucker. Uh -huh. ah! What the fuck? Yo! What are you screaming about? What happened? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Acting scared of something to get his reaction. Okay, this is different. Ah! What the f Yo! What are you screaming about? What happened? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. What? What? No, hell so no. I demo I let you. <laughs> Oh man, come on, man, come on, dog. Hey, y'all, women is uh y'all playing with fire with this one, bro. Cause if your man's out here screaming like a whole feminine ass bitch, this is the type of shit that women lose interest over their man for. Come on, man, these motherfuckers out here screaming bloody murder, hands up in their face, dog. There ain't no coming back from that unless you already knew your man was a bitch, bro. Come on now. I, this is a good test. This is a good test. This is a good test to find out what type of fucking dude you got. <laughs> if you want these motherfuckers that be got them shrieking like a bitch and shit, this this is what you need to know to weed a motherfucker out. Dog. This is a good test. This is a good test. See type of man you got. Yeah. The fuck? Sugar boba is so good. <laughs> 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 the fear. The fear. <laughs> Good. That was good. I needed that.